Can you hear? Say. Matente. Open your. Please. Someone can. Please. forgive you. So come on, open your eyes and get up. That is that is that's classy right there. Nice. Are you are you with us? <laughs> it's a pretty doofy <laughs> smile. I love it. Thank the heavens. For a moment we thought. Damn it, I like both of these. Mm. The bottom one makes me laugh more. Yeah, I think I want to go bottom. Yeah. We going bottom? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Yes, you're alive. You're alive. Are they really lining up the <laughs> credits? That's what it looks like. That would help them time it, too. You... How can you keep your promise if you're not here? Yep. That's cool. That's... Another fine show. Really respectful. On. Yeah. My friend. A fine show, indeed. What were you thinking? Fighting alone. Never do that again. My poor heart couldn't bear it. Put yourself in our place. If you hadn't returned, how do you think we would feel? And if that sounds harsh, it's because we care. We tended to thy wounds as best we could. But how is the pain? That is gladdening. Grievous as thine injuries were, however, I would counsel repose for a time. Gladdening! There's nothing gladdening about this! When Meteon appeared in here and told us that you were right behind her, we all got our hopes up. But you Wait, never what? came. And when you finally deigned to appear, you're within an ilm of your life. Damn you. Damn you for making us worry. Oh, those were cries of celebration. <laughs> anyway, well, the important thing is that you're all alive and in reasonably good health. And we mean to get you back that way. For your earlier request, I'm quite certain we're in range to make contact now. Ah, excellent. Let us announce our return at once. <laughs> I hope you're ready. <laughs> While you were unconscious, we set out from Ultima Thule, you see. Can you stand? Oh, so if we're so, back home. You may wish to see what's outside.
We're home, my friend. We're home. Yeah. Sicard in a model lane <laughs> together. <laughs> Maximum woo. Let's see woo. Not a woo. <laughs> Dip and woo. I got. <laughs> Silence of the GG boys. <laughs> Hell yeah. What a great way to do this. Yeah. Oh, the actor's journey too, right? Yeah. I miss the Stormblood crew so yeah, much. Yeah, they're great. Where's Ghost Setsu? There's no way I'm cropping, I'm comping you into that shot. There's way too much camera movement. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's okay. I'm surprised you even do that in the first place. Carl and Jet says they're very, taking a very confusing route. <laughs> <laughs> shh, 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 shh. And this is classic, like, I just beat my favorite N64 game, like, happy ending vibes. Absolutely. Is that? Get the boat ready, Arnville. I'm ready for Dawn Trail. what he's saying right now. In it. Yep. Two stairs at a time. I need to work on my cardio. <laughs> Carl and Tataro are ripping it.
man. What a freaking, oh, what a choice of song. Play it again. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home is a hell of a line to end, end on. <laughs> oh, the labyrinths. <sighs> oh, cough drop. Cough drop. Yeah, shout out to cough drop. Oh my goodness. Are they going to do all the characters? Now, the mods told me in advance that there is a second set of credits and that this is the one that most people skip. Okay. Because I, I think it's actually about to do... Uh, oh, no, here, here's the development stat. Okay, yeah, I, I was going to say... Um, I was going to say, yeah, let's... let's For the sake of time, I don't want to disrespect, but... It no, is, no. It is going on 1 a.m. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> so, I'm going to hit spacebar. Oh, wait, nope. Probably escape. There we go. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Oh, this is what they meant by a second set of credits. Huh. Most unfitting music? <laughs> no, man. <laughs> this is where you come from. Oh, hell yes. Have you heard it a few times? Yeah. <laughs> shh, 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 it's on screen. <laughs> that was a nice touch. You get credited yourself. Oh, cute. That's awesome. Hey! There it is. Dearest mother. Dearest father, hmm. this letter will be the very last that I write to you from the rising stones. She is full circle. As I commit these words to parchment, I fondly recall my journey as a scion. From the time I first walked into the Order's former halls, to the time I set forth to forestall the final days. God, his old outfit. At the farthest reaches of the Sea of Stars, we fought the battle of our lives. Fought against despair itself. A veritable maelstrom of it, fed by the resignation that dwelled in the hearts of beings not so unlike ourselves. Full oft have I harbored the same malaise. Have, boo. <laughs> have I been brought to my knees? Crushed by the weight of sorrow and defeat. Convinced that I will never rise again. Everybody's old outfits. I have also known many moments of unbridled joy and happiness. By this truth do I find hope within, blooming resplendent like the Elpis flower.
and thus do I endure. Do I look forward to creating more memories with my friends and loved ones? For from these fertile seeds, yet more hope shall spring forth. And they will grow to become shining lights that illuminate the dark. Thus believing, I leave the rising stones behind, as will my comrades. For, as we have decided, after careful deliberation, we are disbanding the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Huh. You are Alphano. Everyone is already gathered in the foyer. My apologies. I'll be right there. At least, that is what the story will be. Mmm. Okay. Sorry to keep you all waiting. What could you possibly have left to do now? <laughs> Oh, just a letter. I imagine it will be a while before we can gather like this again. So it must be, if we're to keep up appearances. From now on, it falls to the Grand Company of Eorzea and its allies to deal with the realm's crises. Meanwhile, we shall return to our erstwhile ways. Retreating from plain sight to take our place in the shadows once more. Indeed. For the foreseeable future, I expect that we must work independently as we seek out problems that want for solving. But a day will come when we face another great challenge, and we will face it together, as we always have. Are both the <laughs> As much as I look forward to that day, I do hope it doesn't come any time soon. Well, formal association or no, if any of you should require my services, you need but ask. I'll be glad to keep my lance arm honed. I'll hold you to that. So you had better keep your link pearl on hand. So you really mean to stay, Tataru? Oh, someone has to keep the Rising Stones in proper order. And even a super-secret organization requires a super-secret base of operations. To the rest of the world, it will be naught more than a workshop for Eorzea's foremost up-and-coming artisan. If you thought our coffers were full to bursting before, just wait till I can devote myself wholly to the crafts. <laughs> Plotting to build a mercantile empire to rival that of Lord Lodorito, are we? <laughs> I, for one, look forward to your future successes, Tataru. As do I our next meeting. A 
And with that, I believe it is past time you all made ready to depart. Leave no preparations undone or words unsaid, all right? Now, off with you. Defeat Xenos. Check. <laughs> oh yeah, that did happen. Hey everyone, and welcome to our Clips and Highlights channel. If you want to keep up with everything Kyle and I have going on, make sure you subscribe to the main Grinding Gear YouTube channel, which is where we actually do these streams. That's right, we stream right here on YouTube. Oh, and uh, sub to the Grinding Gear podcast. Apple, Google, Spotify, really any podcast platform. We're probably there. Thanks. Speak with comrades. Oh, goodness. Uh, who are we starting with? Um, we can start with Orianja and go counterclockwise. That sounds good. All right. But let's see. Hold on. Yeah, that works. Oh, shit. Tuna, thou hast spoken with our comrades. Though this parting be not forevermore, tis nonetheless occasion for sorrow, akin to a pixie's path. The navigation of such farewells is a perilous endeavor indeed. For their part, however, the Loperitz embark upon a new beginning. Though bereft of its purpose as a vessel, the moon yet remaineth hospitable for the creatures of Atheris. Thus do our Luna visitors convene within the Forum, intent upon assigning some new and beneficial role to our solitary Saladite. Yet ere that may come to pass, there is much and more each party must learn of the other, a process which doth promise to be eventful indeed. You would have thought I would have gotten good at reading Orianje by now. To that end, a cadre of Laparids hath gleefully dispersed across our lands in the name of mutual understanding. Heidelin, tis said, did imbue them with her love for all things born of this star. And tis Vinar's own nature, I believe, which doth manifest in this impressible, inexhaustible curiosity of theirs. Having witnessed that which they strove to achieve, I wish most keenly for their long labors to be rewarded, that their abiding affection for man results in a boon for all. Moreover, I hope to continue our acquaintance and share in such knowledge as they see fit to impart. <laughs> I'm going bottom. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> That's hysterical. Dost thi oh, think so? The Lopperits are certainly possessed of a unique outlook, and it hath been my pleasure to act as a facilitator upon the star. Mayhap I might yet serve as a bridge betwixt them and our fellow men, as Moonbreeder once did for me. Ah! But I shall digress no further. This day should be long to the scions of the seventh dawn, to mine incomparable companions. Oft times hath mine reticence caused thee grief, and mine actions spurred allies to suspect betrayal. And yet, here amongst you I still stand. No amount of words could express my gratitude for thine acceptance and forgiveness. Thus instead I do proffer my humble support, be it unto the deepest abyss or the highest heavens, even if I must needs founder cross stormy seas, ever shall I answer thy summons. I like what they're setting up. You better show up in the patches because I'm going to miss reading you if you don't. Alizé? I mean, how cool would it be if each patch is like one or two scions and their adventures? Oh, that'd be a cute way to do it. Val, Tuna, seen to your preparations, have you? 
I'm just making another sweep of my belongings. Wouldn't do to find I've forgotten something halfway to my destination. Oh, in a case you haven't heard, we've received new reports detailing the devastation caused by the final days. It appears the situation is gravest in the land surrounding the bounty, where the sky first began to burn. After that, the calamity was observed in the far north, in Garlemald, and the frozen lands beyond. We also had reports of the heavens catching fire in isolated locations, one of which was the area near the northern empty. Had our quest taken longer, Charlayan too would have come under threat. Thank goodness it's over now. To be sure, blasphemies and lesser beasts may still be roaming about, but these localized crises should be well within the capabilities of each nation to handle on their own. The scions are no longer needed. Which isn't to say we won't help out where we can, of course, as individuals. No more of this order business. For my part, I'll be heading to Garlemond with Athano. They were among the worst affected, and still need all the help they can get. It won't be easy. An inevitable part of aiding those in need is coming face to face with tragedy. Knowing it doesn't make it any easier, though. That I'll curse my weakness, my inability to fix every problem and save every lost soul. But no matter how much it hurts, I won't give up. I'll do what I can for as many people as I can, begrudging no effort. And should I find myself discouraged, I'll remember you. Think back fondly to one of your many moments of triumph and the accompanying determined expression. Even those that still annoy me in retrospect. <laughs> like when you activate the teleporter without warning. And you should hear about me. And should you hear about me, I want you to remember too. Remember that I'm out there somewhere, trying my very best. Ooh. Oh, ooh, oh, ooh, oh. <laughs> I'm going bottom, because it has to be said in jest. Yeah. You asked for it, so you had better watch out. Oh, yes. Next time we meet, I'll be vastly improved. So don't be surprised when you find yourself marveling at me. It's gonna, uh, we're gonna find her jumping off of a ruined building, like even one stories towers, up. Yeah. Oh, Val, Tuna, pray forgive me for delaying the gathering. I was writing a letter, you see, to my parents. As busy as father has been, tending the aftermath of the exodus has, uh, he has been good enough to show concern for the scions. And besides, I've made them worry enough for a lifetime. Henceforth, I will endeavor to write as often as I am able. little effort to set their minds at ease while we continue to be away from Charlian. Both Alizé and I are off to assist with Gollumal's recovery, you see. Though uncertainty remains over what will become of the nation, we cannot well leave the capital in its present state. We will rejoin those members of the Ilzebard contingent still stationed there. Lucia and Maxima helmed the relief effort. With support from our allies, the people of Gollumald among them. They will gradually be joined by those who have finished treating the tempest across the lands. Lest you misunderstand, we do not seek redemption for failing Lys Lysinia and her sister. That is a burden we must always bear. Nay, we go because the truth in Lord Quintus's words. The truth that, whatever ideals individuals may espouse, 
nations are not moved to action unless they stand to benefit. For the foreseeable future, the fallen empire will be at the mercy of both internal and external forces. And though I do not doubt the inten intentions of the contingent, with greater powers involved in the relief effort, our allies may well find themselves drawn into a political agenda. In going, we seek to ensure that the needs of the people come first, to understand their hearts, that we might better help them to begin anew. The top is cheeky. I like the top. Mm -hmm. He's a busy man, after all. <laughs> Write you letters? Of course, I would be glad to do so. But I would be glad I still were you to come to visit. And I believe I speak for Alizé as well. For fairly as long as I have been in Eorzea, you've been at my side, watching over me, in good times and in bad. How many times have we gathered to share tidings? None could possibly keep count. The world is changing and we'll continue to do so. Yet, no matter what the future brings, I hope that I can ever look to you. In good times and in bad. As a dependable comrade and dear friend, both. I'm gonna punch that for you, Alfie. Thank you, Valentuna. From the bottom of my heart. Quick nod to real, who never became an Asian. I'm still good. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the three years. <laughs> what happens when I click, click on them again? Oh, he says he's been keeping Arnvald abreast of the situation in letters. Oh, that's right. Where the hell is Arnvald? Patch content, I guess. Huh. So everyone's rioting because we aren't clicking on everyone twice. So what's Alize got to say? The Hanish envoy who came to see Astinian also bore a letter from Matsya. He writes that Mavon and Kurosaf's little girl is doing well and he often goes to visit her. Oh! Won't be easy growing up without her parents, but with her fellow villagers watching over her, I dare to hope that she won't want for warmth as she grows up. Okay, y'all, you're right. It was worth clicking on them. Orianje says, I understand that following thy clash with Xenos, the teleportation device thou had discarded fell to thee from on... Okay! This is what I want to know about. I want to know about this so much, I'm going to engage my Orianje voice again. To return to thee in such a manner, I did confer with Wilson and Blue Bluewida, yet they insist the device was possessed of no such capability. T'was a miracle befitting the nature of that place, where emotion becometh tangible reality. Whence then arose this timely wonder? Thine ardent wish, or another's fervent prayer. Magic. Magic. It was magic, Kyle.